طيب راح نبدا الان <تصفيق> حياكم الله جميعا سو تيدي وي هاف اور اورال ديكوم ريفيو فيرست ذا فيرست فيو كيسز ويل هاف ات از كومبرينسيف ويل جو ثرو ذا لونج كيس اند ذن ويل هاف سبيسيفيك كيسز ذس ويل بي انتراكتيف سو ايتش كيس ويل will be taken by one resident. Uh, first case. I'm going to list of the resident. Who wants to take this case? بالعزيز عزيز تيبي اوكي سو ذس از 62 يير اولد بيشنت بريزنتد فور روتين تشيك اب اي كان سي ذا فاندس فوت اوف فوكسينج اون ذا اور زومدن اون ذا ديسك اي كان سي ذات ذير از هيلثي ديسك ريم Uh, however, uh, yes, yeah. However, there is an increase in uh, the uh, optic disc cupping with the uh, kinking of the uh, inferior vessels. Uh, excellent. Um, so, uh, what do you want to ask in history for this patient? So, I will ask. Uh, uh, we have the patient age. I will ask about the uh, gender. Uh, I will uh, also ask about the patient ethnicity. Uh, I will see if the patient is having uh, uh, any complaints. The patient is complaining of any visual changes, uh, any uh, uh, ocular pain, either as episodes or as uh, any uh, chronically. Uh, I would ask about the patient uh, refractive error, if the patient has hyperopia or myopia. Uh, the patient is uh, using any uh, drops or any systemic medications. If the patient has any other uh, uh, systemic disease, uh, the patient underwent any other surgeries, uh, either ocular or systematically. Uh, uh, this is mainly it. If the patient also has any family history of glaucoma. Excellent. Uh, what systemic disease you want to ask about? ask about uh, diabetes, hypertension. Okay. Uh, the patient also has episodes of hypertension. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to ask about ocular uh, procedures? Yes, ocular. the patient. Okay. Uh, any glaucoma surgeries uh, mm. or uh, received any laser treatment uh, or if the patient had uh, cataract surgery, for example. Okay. And how about examination? What would you like to examine? Uh, I'll start with the documentation of the visual acuity. Mm -hmm. uh, measure the intraocular pressure. Uh, with, uh, preferably more than one modality. Uh, and preferably at uh, different times of the day. Uh, I would uh, uh, then move on to the uh, slit lamp examination, uh, assessing the conjunctiva, uh, the cornea, uh, and the anterior chamber, uh, mainly concerned with the AC depth uh, and the uh, corneal clarity as well as the, uh, if there is any corneal edema or not. Uh, I will also uh, comment on iris uh, in case there is a shallow ac uh, i will assess the lens status if the patient has uh, cataract and how dense this cataract is uh, i will uh, visualize the fundus and document on the uh, optic disc as well as the retina as a whole in the disc i will assess the optic disc uh, rim 
decoupling the uh, retinal nerve fiber layer loss uh, and if there is any hemorrhages or uh, kinking of any of the vessels. Okay. Uh, any specific exams you want to do? Uh, after that, I can uh, do any special tests. For example, mm -hmm. I can do for the, the uh, for investigation. Yeah, visual the field clinic. testing yeah, or the OCT. For, uh, I the can do visual field. Yes. And go, go and I can do the clinic, yeah. Yes, you can do to do the gonioscopy and uh, for the investigation, as you mentioned, you can do OCT, visual field. What else? These are the two main things that I would do. Yes. If the patient have refractive surgery, what do you want to examine? Yeah, the corneal thickness. Yes. Uh, because it has also an impact on the IOP. Okay. Uh, in each case of 15 to 20 will increase the IOP or decrease it by one. Okay. Let's say a patient has high pressure, open angle, uh, bilateral, uh, same image. Uh, w w what is your differential? High pressure, open angle, I will think of uh, open angle glaucoma, either primary or secondary. Yes. Uh, could be open angle glaucoma as it is, or it could be secondary to, to for example, uh, pigment uh, dispersion syndrome. Uh, it could be due to steroids, uh, pseudo uh, mm -hmm. It could be also primary. Uh, the next copy would also give me a hint if it was open or not uh, by the indentation test. Uh, yes. So I will see if it is oppositional. Okay. Uh, how would you manage this patient? Uh, my goal is uh, to lower the intraocular pressure by at least uh, thirty percent if it was high. Uh, so I will uh, start the patient on anti-glaucoma drugs. Uh, depending on the cause, of course, I will select my anti-glaucoma drops based on that. Okay. Uh, so I will start with, uh, for example, prostaglandin. Uh, uh, drops if the patient has uveitis or uh, I suspect inflammatory cause, I will refrain or uh, use it with caution. Uh, I can use the uh, the uh, the timolor or the beta blockers uh, if the patient has asthma or uh, yes, patient has heart uh, disease. I will also use it with caution or use more uh, the selective beta blockers. Okay. Uh, so the alpha agonist can be used. Uh, we have the dopamine uh, or the other agents that also can be used. Uh, if uh, if uh, I give the patient one drop, I can add another one if the patient does not respond after follow up. Uh, and if the patient was given the full anti glaucoma drops and there is no response, I might move on to uh, the lasers uh, SLT or. Uh, uh, the other types of laser. Uh, if the patient uh, still is not responding after that, I can move on to the surgery. Okay. Well, what do you mean other type of laser? Uh, selective or the other. Uh, you mean ALT? Yes, ALT. Okay. Yeah, so uh, as you mentioned, uh, yeah, you cover it well, but uh, just a tip, yeah, and for the oral, if you are not sure about something, don't say it. And yeah, they can't uh, uh, for the laser. Yeah, and we, we use it nowadays only yeah, and it's SLT. ALT is not used. But if you we don't know it or you don't have uh, yeah, enough information, don't mention it. Anything you will say, it will you will be asked about in the oral. Um, for the uh, surgical, what are your options here if you have open angle glaucoma? Uh, so, uh, an open angle, I can do a deep sclerectomy. Uh, mm -hmm. Trouble sclerectomy is also an option uh, that I can use. Good. If uh, failed, what uh, what can you do? Uh, what other surgeries? Uh, I can do the valve surgery. I can use uh, Ahmed Gurukhama valve, for example. Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Uh, do you still, still see my screen? 
نو دقيقة في مشكلة تروح اللستة حقت الريزيدنت ثمانية اوكي ناو يس اسمع ليتس سي اوكي طيب عبد الرحمن العنزي حياك الله كيف حالك؟ الله يعافيك بخير طيب كان يو تيك ذيس كيس بليز؟ يس سو ذيس از 50 ييرز اولد ليدي بريزنت تو روتين تشيك اب ديسكرايب اي سي كسيرا فوتو اوف ذا اي شوفوا وينج سلت بيم اوفر ذا بريفري اوف ذا كورنيا Uh, yes, uh, show uh, interior uh, uh, shawl bay line. Uh, how about the uh, how about the depth? Uh, it's uh, shallow AC at the periphery. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I don't. Uh, what want is to this? Uh, what is this technique? Or what do we call it? This examination. Scatter um, uh, scatter. No. Sure. If you want to assess the uh, AC depth or the angle, um, you can do gonioscopy or you can do this technique just to give you an idea about the angle. Do you know what we call it? Uh, no, I Anybody can uh, answer? The Van Herrick technique. Yes. So it's Van Herrick technique. Do you know staging of Van Herrick? I uh, see uh, how many uh, depth uh, can exactly know. Mm-hmm. Anybody can answer? Yes. Uh, uh, <coughs> yes. Answer or? Uh, yeah, you can. Mohammed, Yeah. Uh, so then, here grades uh, to four grades. Uh, One is the uh, least, and four is the highest, based on the corneal thickness. If it is more than uh, corneal, uh, one corneal thickness, it's grade four. Mm-hmm. If it is less than quarter of the corneal thickness, then it's narrow, uh, narrow angle with the grade one uh, Van Herrick. Two and three uh, is quarter for the two, and three from quarter to half corneal thickness. Okay, excellent. Okay, Abdurrahman. Um, So what do you want to ask in history for this patient? Uh, we know the age and the uh, gender. Mm. We'll ask uh, about uh, systemic illness like diabetes, hypertension, about yeah. uh, any refractive error, which is uh, myopic okay. or uh, hyperol. Uh, she is on any um, medication like uh, she uses uh, steroid or not. She yes. No case of Uveitis, for example. Mm. Uh, uh, there is any history of surgery, uh, any ocular surgery or uh, glaucoma surgery, uh, okay. or return surgery like buckle uh, or refractive surgery. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, if there is any family history of glaucoma. Yes, very good. How about examination? Uh, in my exam, uh, I will start by uh, taking the VA of both eyes. Mm-hmm. And uh, measuring the IOB, uh, then uh, confrontation of visual field, uh, yes. both eyes. Uh, after that, I will move to uh, slit lamp exam. Uh, I will check the conch if there is any injection, uh, uh, the AC depth, as we uh, yeah. mentioned before. Yes, if it's uh, um, Uh, I will assess it in the central and in the periphery, uh, and I will check the iris. If there is any atrophy, or uh, I will check the uh, um, corneal clarity. If there is any edema, uh, and the lens status. If there is any mm-hmm. cataractus or uh, tumescent, okay. for example. Uh, and I will check the. Uh, I will do gonio before dilation. Yes, yes, yes. Very important. You have shallow AC. You have. You have to do a gonioscopy. 
اوكي افتر دايليشن اي ويل تشيك الفندس اند تشيك اول ذا فندس اوكي هاو ابوت انفستيجيشن انفستيجيشن بارت اي ويل دو او سي تي اوبتيك ديسك اند فيجوال فيلد اف ذير از ا فيو تو ذا فندس اوكي There is not. Uh, I will do a B scan, uh, and accordingly, if he's uh, posterior factor surgery, may I do intercam? Okay. Uh, and uh, you mentioned you would check the fundus examination. Would you dilate the patient? Uh, after uh, my uh, uh, my gonio. Yes. Uh, if. Uh, um, Uh, yeah, I will dilate. Uh, Regardless of the gonioscopy result? Uh, if it's uh, completely ridocornia, for example, I'll not dilate uh, for uh, any worsening closure. Yes. Yes. What would you like to do if you have uh, like a closed angle? You cannot, you do indentation, you don't see the angle. And uh, patient is diabetic, for example. Patient needs dilation. Uh, what, what will we do? Um, if it's um, more than 180 uh, uh, PAS, I will, uh, with an indentation, no improvement. I will, uh, and high IUP, right? No, no, just no. It's a routine exam patient, normal IUP, but the AC is very shallow, and the, the gonioscopy showed closed angle. Um, right. What do you advise to do in these cases? I will advise to do PI. Yes. Uh, yes, to uh, prevent yeah. any pupillary For the dilation, yeah, you need to do PI, and then assess the patient after one week, and then you can dilate. Okay. Yes. Type. Uh, um, so this management, uh, doing PI, um, let's say the patient have uh, high pressure. Uh, Normal disc. What will you give the patient? You do the PI and uh, yes, I will do the PI and uh, I will target to reduce the IUB by thirty yeah. percent uh, if there is uh, any evidence of uh, glaucoma. Mm. Uh, and uh, I will check it after uh, one week. Uh, if uh, any, if it's possible to do the PI in the same setting, I will do it. If not, I will uh, any date after three days and to resolve angle edema if it's yeah. acute attack. Okay. Uh, and I will put him in anti glucose medication and I will check response after uh, four to six weeks mm-hmm. if uh, he is uh, high and I will be it's reduced for my target or not. Okay. If not, I will increase the, uh, my medication and put another uh, anti glucose medication. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, if, uh, yes. The canal, uh, if, if you have the patient, uh, you, give, you do the PI, you give the medication, check the angle, the sinica, uh, there is a cupping, and the pressure is still high with the medication. Uh, what are the options here? Uh, an acute setting? Yeah, you mean I no, um, you give the medication, you, you did the PI, you saw him after one week or two, uh, still the pressure in the 30s. Um, We give him already the full tropical. What can you do next? Uh, either uh, selective uh, uh, iridoplasty, we will uh, do it. Uh, if there is response, okay. If, uh, selective or iridoplasty? Selective or, uh, or iridoplasty? Uh, yeah, these are different. No, you will do SLT in these cases? Yes. Uh, yes. No, SLT is contraindicated. If you do SLT and angle closure, you will have, yes. have more cyanic. Yes. Another thing, you, you cannot see the angle. How can you do the SLT? There is cyanic. It will become measure because it's closed. You cannot do SLT. You can do iridoplasty just to pull the iris away from the angle. Yeah, you can do it, especially in plateau iris syndrome. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Other than laser, yes. what can you do? Uh, I will go for surgery if uh, yes. all my measurements. What type of procedure? Uh, tropicalectomy. Uh, yes. It's ankle closure. Yes. Can you do DS? Uh, 
no, it's angle uh, closed. Yeah. So, how about the patient have early cataract? Would you advise to remove it or keep it? Um, well, if it's early cataract, uh, uh, cataract extraction by itself, yes, maybe it's enough uh, for uh, according to the angle. Yes, uh, because it will uh, uh, reduce the radio uh, lens of diaphragm. So, mm. Yes. Yeah. So okay. in these cases, any uh, if there is any cataract, you advise advise to remove the cataract with glaucoma surgery or sometimes even without only cataract surgery, because uh, by as you mentioned, by itself can uh, resolve the issue. Uh, do you know about the types of uh, or grading of primary angle closure? Uh, we have like three stages. Yeah. Uh, suspect and uh, yes. yes, primary uh, enclosure uh, suspect and um, uh, and hypertension and uh, glaucoma. Suspect either uh, there is uh, change uh, 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 asymmetry in the uh, or cubic um, both eyes. The suspect, uh, but no, uh, yes, no, no, uh, no. it's not uh, like uh, increase the IUV. With normal fundus exam after then, uh, this is no. Like, if you're not sure, say I don't know. In the examination, you, and you hear, uh, and you can can answer. There's no mark, but in the examination, if you say like this, I will get the feeling that you are not safe. And this is not good in the examination. If you don't, if you're not sure, say I don't know. Better than answering uh, something you're not sure about. Um, anybody else can can tell me what are uh, what is the definition of primary angle closure suspect? Lujain. Okay. So I know what is the suspect definition, please? Uh, salam alaykum, uh, I'm not sure about that. Saeed, Saeed, what do you think? Salam alaykum, rahmatullah, sabah al-khair. Sabah al-nur, hiya kala. The suspect means there is a cludable angle. At yes. least two quadrants. The bank here committed to zero to one. If there is high speed, then yeah. this is... This is yeah. a primary angle closure by yes. definition. Uh, in case we detected an, an optic disc damage or a glaucomatous uh, optic neuropathy, then this is primary angle closure glaucoma. Excellent. Very good. So these are the three stages. First is the primary angle closure suspect. As the Dr. Said mentioned, there is only a cludable angle. There is no cyanica. The pressure is normal. Primary angle closure you have either cyanica or high IOP, but the disc is normal. Still, there is no glaucoma. And then the final stage is the glaucoma. When you have high IOP, you have glaucomatous disc changes, and you will have cyanica also. Okay. Um, we'll move to the next case. So you have this patient presented to you with pain during vision. What can you see? So this is a slit lamp photo mm -hmm. using diffuse elimination technique. Mm -hmm. I can see a conch injection with the uh, uh, new vascularization in the iris. Okay. Uh, cornea looks clear. Yes. And uh, I cannot comment on the AC depth or lens status. I need a slit beam to comment. Okay. And, uh, so, uh, what do you want to ask this patient? So, I'll start uh, my approach with the history, mm -hmm. a dem demographic. I'll dig in the chief complaint. What is the chief complaint she's coming with? Mm -hmm. And uh, does she have any decrease in vision? Uh, does she have any pain, uh, photophobia, or she's asymptomatic? Uh, I'll ask um, about any systemic disease like um, diabetes, hypertension, uh, dyslipidemia. Yes. I'll dig also in the ocular history if she's um, 
having uveitis or any history of intraocular uh, tumor or retinal detachment. Uh, I'll ask if she's um, a bad surgical history, any history of trauma, any um, injection, laser, and that's it. Okay. And how about examination? So I'll start my examination with the uh, visual acuity, mm -hmm. IOB exam, a pupil examination, um, uh, a kind of visual field by confrontation. Then I'll uh, do a, a thorough slit lamp examination, assessing if there is any uh, cone injection, corneal edema, a new vascularization in the iris, or uh, new vascularization uh, in the angle using gonioscopy. Yes. Um, also, I'm going to check, uh, I'll do a dilated fundus exam if there is a view, yes. looking for um, any new vascularization or any disc cubbing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the other eye. Good, good. Um, what is your uh, diagnosis here? I told your patient to have high, uh, high IOP and this image. My top differential would be a new vascular glaucoma. Okay. Other differential could be um, yeah, yeah, uh, ocular ischemic syndrome, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uveitic uh, glaucoma. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you know the stages of the univascular glaucoma? Uh, yes, I know. What, what are they? Stage one, they will have uh, only new vascularization with yes. normal IOB and open angle. Stage right. two, they're going to have uh, high ob uh, IOB with the uh, open angle. And to, uh, stage three, closed angle. Very Come. good. Very good. Uh, how would you manage this case? Uh, so, in acute setting, we're going to give the patient to manage the high IOB with the anti-glaucoma. We'll give the patient steroid to decrease the inflammation and uh, cyclobligic to decrease the spasm. And then we have to identify the underlying cause of this uh, new vascularization. Very good. Yeah. And uh, uh, if, uh, what is the most common cause for this? Uh, BDR. Yes. And, uh, and then yeah. central vein occlusion. Uh, and then how, how would you proceed with the management? In the management, uh, if there is a view, uh, um, uh, the uh, definitive management here is BRP to cut mm -hmm. the source of the uh, ischemic retina yeah. and uh, plus minus anti-VGF to preserve the angle uh, and to yeah, and increase the success of surgery if indicated. Yes. Uh, why, why did you say plus minus? Is there any contraindication for the injection? No, it's better to give the injection. In all cases? Uh, Anti-VGF. Yeah. yeah, if there is to, to regress the vessel, we give uh, anti vision. If Let's the angle is open, if the angle is open, yeah. But if the patient have a TRD, would you give injection? No, no, it's contraindicated. Yes. So, yeah, that's why you need to check the fundus. If there is no view, what can you do? If there is no view, we have to do B scan. Mm. If uh, there is TRD in the B scan, what will you do? Uh, if there is TRD, I'll do uh, BBV. Yes, so you need to, you cannot do P, P, you cannot do PRP for the view, you cannot do, give injection, you need to arrange with the retina, the specialist, yes. possible any yani, combined procedure. Yes, uh, and also the PRP management uh, uh, depends on the visual potential. If there is no potential, uh, no visual potential, we're going to manage the patient as a blind, painful eye. How would you assess the potential? Um... Uh, there is um, um, uh, the Mitri, I forget the name, BMR. BAM. BAM, yes, BAM. And what else? Inflammatory. Laser, laser inflammatory. Inflammatory, yes. Okay. Uh, w what are other things you can do to assess the uh, potential? If you don't have these in the clinic. Mm. What can give you an indication that this patient has poor visual potential. Let's say a patient, there is a view. How do you know this poor visual potential? You can't see the fundus. I mean, there, 
like يعني if the patient having um, sensory deviation can give us clue that no yeah you can see the disc how is the disc yeah if, if, uh, yeah, if there is advanced cupping yeah and you can yes, know this total cupping pale disc mm-hmm. oh, so yes. it's chemical retina you can see it if, if there is no view this cataract or hemorrhage or whatever what can you do to assist the patient we'll do uh, if a cataract uh, if there is a cataract you can do um um, yeah, all these color uh, examinations, but no, there's most uh, more simple test you can do in the in the, the clinic. Mm-hmm. Anybody else can uh, know this? You mentioned it in the examination. You will do it. Right, موجود right. Pupil exam. Yes, Lujain, you mentioned. Pupil exam. Yes, what, what, what will you see? And if there is a, um, a relative afferent papillary defect. Yes, yes. If there, let's say there is cyanic in this eye, how can you assess the uh, APD? If there is cyanic Yes, if the pupil is not moving because there is cyanic or the pupil is ischemic. It's not moving. Uh, yeah, we can, can see it? at least the uh, reaction of the pupil. If it, there is. Uh, yes. Hmm. Raed, can you help us? Ah, Raed, Doctor. Salam alaikum. Hey, salam alaikum. I can assess the pupil in the other eye. Yes. What do we call this test? Consensual. So it's reversed. Reversed. I don't know what you call it. Reverse Marcus test. So yeah, reversed APD test. You can check the uh, APD in this eye by checking the other eye if it is normal. Okay. okay. So Regine, you have. Uh, we can do this APD test. We we can ask about the history of patient. Maybe he is amblyopic in this eye. Maybe he has poor vision for a long time in this eye. Maybe he has high IOP for, for years in this eye. All these give us indication that the potential is poor. Okay. Okay. So if it's poor, we, we can do CBC, as you mentioned. Yes. Uh, let's say the patient has, uh, there is a view that this is, is, is moderate cupping and uh, you, you give him the injection. When you want to do the surgery? You see the patient today, you give him anti-glucoma, you give him the injection. What else? What, 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 when you want to see the patient, what will you do? We will not do the surgery unless the uh, new vascularization regressed. You will wait until it regressed? How about if it's chronic and large vessels? Uh, do you think they will regress? It will take time. If there is advanced coming, I will proceed to uh, tube surgery. When you want to do the surgery? Um, after 48 hours. Yes, to 48 to 72 hours. Yes. But even if, if the revascularization does not regress, sometimes they don't go away. Yeah, they will decrease, but most of the time they don't go away, uh, especially if you have large vessels. Okay. So we I'll give the injection, wait until we do the laser, and then you have assess the patient after two days. Mm. Okay, and then you, you book patient for surgery. What kind of surgery you want to do? Um, we're going to do a, a trap or a tube surgery. What? Which is better? Uh, there is a high um, failure rate with the trap. Tube is better. Yes. Why Why there is a high failure rate in trap? Because uh, it's inflammatory glaucoma. There is inflammation. Yes. Yes. And also there is vascularization. You can have bleeding when you do the PI. Hi. Okay, very good. So, univascular glaucoma is very, very important, and yeah, and you, most of the exams they will they will have univascular glaucoma. You need to memorize it by heart. Most important thing is to treat the underlying cause. You give the injection, unless there is contraindication in the retina, but you need to give the injection. Even if you have view, you do the PRP. You need to give the injection to regress the vessels faster, and make your surgery more successful. Okay, let's go for uh, 
passport case. Would you allow me the better for yeah. uh, just a little comment? Yes. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Uh, really, it's a perfect answer. Uh, I admire what you answered, but I have a little comment. Don't squeeze yourself providing. Don't let the examiner squeezing you. OK, so you said I will do this if there is poor visual potential and you don't know by heart the answer of poor visual potential. Don't mention it unless the examiner asked you. Also, you mentioned the plus minus anti VHF. If you don't know what are the contraindications of anti VHF, don't say plus minus. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know how to be smart answering the oral exam. To let the examiner squeeze you if you know the answer, so you will get the bonus. But if you let the examiner squeeze you and you don't know the answer, you may uh, lose some marks. Otherwise, you did great. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Bader. Sorry for the interruption. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Who wants to take this case? I can answer this. Uh, Tala. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a case of a patient complaining of pain for three days. Uh, this left lamp uh, photo diffuse emanation showing uh, mildly uh, congested cone with uh, uh, clear uh, cornea and uh, dilated pupil with uh, uh, mature uh, white cataract. So uh, yes, history. We'll start. We'll start with the history. We want to know the age and the gender of the patient, as well as uh, uh, is he uh, living outside uh, the city or inside the city. Uh, we'll start with a chief complaint. Uh, when did it start? Is it the first time? Or there was previous similar episode? Uh, 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 is it on, on the uh, on the left eye, or uh, it's like affecting the other eye as well? Uh, is there a decrease of vision since when? Uh, uh, then we'll move to the uh, past uh, ocular history. Is, is the patient using any drops, like the common drops, uh, steroid, uh, past surgical history for any uh, previous surgery or trauma to the eye? Yes. Uh, uh, any medical uh, illnesses uh, like diabetes, hypertension, and uh, past uh, surgical history for the patient? Okay. Examination. Uh, in the exam, I'll uh, assess first the uh, uh, VA, IOP, and uh, extraocular motility, as well as uh, the external examination for the uh, lids uh, to see if there is uh, <clears throat> congestion of the lids uh, and uh, the uh, I mean edema or a condition of the conjunctiva, the cornea if there is common edema or uh, KPs. Uh, uh, I'll assist the iris looking for uh, in the eyes and uh, the lens to see the uh, uh, to assist uh, more the uh, cataract and then uh, uh, we'll see if there is a view to the fundus or uh, not. Uh, okay. The patient now is dilated but I need to assist the AC depth uh, uh, and to, to check if the uh, to, to check if the uh, anterior chamber depth is uh, deep or shallow. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will examine the other eye as well to have an idea. The okay. patient is dilated with okay. one eye. Okay. Did you mention APD? I did not pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, so I'll same thing. Exam you do pupil. APD yeah. and you do reverse APD if you, mm -hmm. if you feel this pupil is not reactive. Um, what about the investigation? What do you want to do? Um, if there is no view, there will be a B scan uh, yes. to, to see the fundus and to check if there is cupping or not. As well, I'll, mention, I'll measure the IOP if it is uh, uh, high uh, or low with, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so let's say this is unilateral. The other eye is pseudophagic. Mm -hmm. And uh, patient have this uh, decreased vision for uh, for more than one year uh, like this. and mm -hmm. But he recently developed this pain. And the pressure mm -hmm. is high. What is the anterior chamber is quiet? Yes, it's quiet. Uh, then uh, my type differential is phacomorphic uh, glaucoma. Yes. <clears throat> uh, other differential could be uh, phacolytic, 
fecal antigenic. Uh, and uh, this particle, if there is history of uh, trauma or of uh, previous surgery. Okay. And uh, what is your management here? Uh, here we'll start the statin to glaucoma uh, after excluding uh, uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, the uh, contraindication to use uh, each medication for the beta blocker, the heart block of asthma. Uh, for if, uh, if the patient has hypertension, try to avoid. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, you can say uh, an examination renal function just for the time because uh, you have short time in the examination. You can say I will give antiglucoma unless contraindicated, and then I can ask you about the contraindication. Mm -hmm. You don't need to mention everything because you have short time and right. you need to go through uh, many cases. Um, okay, you give the full anti-glucoma. What else? What can, what, what you need to do? I'll, I'll measure the IOP again mm. uh, uh, and uh, do PI to the patient since the, uh, he's for this, uh, she is sort of affected on the other eye, so we'll do PI here on this eye. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the eye. Yeah. If the PI was and, not successful, um, the patient, the uh, pupil is dilated. It's not, it's not constricting, and uh, you cannot do the PI. So uh, pressure is still high I'll after drops. The yeah, I'll come yes. to the patient. What the importance of uh, cataract extraction surgery? Okay. Um, what you do? Uh, uh, reducing the IUP while giving. Uh, yes. Okay. Would you do glaucoma with the cataract or only cataract? Uh, I'll check the other eye, see the disc of the, uh, see the disc. And, uh, the piece can may give us a clue about mm. the disc cupping, although okay. it's not accurate. But uh, no, I'll do only cataract extraction since there is no cupping, since there okay. is no use. Uh, is there any, uh, yeah, any cases that you will do combined from the beginning? If the patient has already established diagnosis for the other eye, for example, or it's the only seeing eye, uh, <coughs> I might consider a uh, combined surgery. What else? Anybody can uh, help us here? If you have this case, Ficomorphic Glaucoma, is there any patient that you will decide to do combined procedure from the beginning, cataract and glaucoma procedure in the same setting. Depending on the scarring on the angle. Okay. You can, there's one indication in the, uh, yeah. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I think we can do combined if in gonioscopy we see there is a extensive PAS uh, in the angle, uh, then we can do combined uh, procedure. Okay, this one well, is uh, something that can give you any indication. What else an examination can give you indication of uh, glaucoma or? Um, I think. Uh, if we can uh, see the disc, but I think it will be difficult in this case. No, I cannot see the disc. Okay, so uh, let's say if you have reverse APD in, the, in, this, in this exam, it's the same as before. If you have reverse APD, that means the disc here is, is affected. Okay, and uh, another thing is uh, history. If patient is if the patient have uh, pain for long time or documented high IP for long time, that means most likely the disc is affected. We don't know how much is affected, but we know the disc is damaged. So in these cases, we might consider uh, combined cases. I agree with you, Mohammed. Most of the time, we do FACO alone or lens extraction alone, and then we reassess again. After, but if we are sure, for example, the patient is non glaucoma patient, the disc is documented before to be infected, and then within these cases, we better to go over combined. Okay, uh, <coughs> a 
let's go to the next. Dr. Badr, uh, yeah. I have a question for Mohammed Basi. He mentioned that if it's one eye, I will do combined. Could you justify yeah. this answer? Could you justify yeah. this answer, please? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, oh, my point was uh, the patient already has established the diagnosis of uh, of uh, glaucoma on the uh, on the for, on the other eye, and he lost the eye due for uh, glaucoma. So uh, I, uh, this might give us an indication that uh, patient has uh, aggressive glaucoma. Yeah, and these uh, these cases are not easy, and the complications are high. And when you do combined procedure also, the complication is doubled. So if he's one eye, I would be very reluctant to do combined. Uh, yeah. yeah, combined is not, uh, you will increase the risk for uh, complication. And uh, that's why we try to avoid it, especially if a patient has high IUP to start with dense, dense cataract. Um, so if he's one eye, no, I would. I would rather do cataract alone and reassess them again. You can do, for example, ECP with it, something minimal, but doing FACO trap or ECC trap uh, with one eyed patient like this, unless you know, we are sure that there is damage to the optic disc since before. Okay. Um, next. ممكن خان جلوكوما الشهر هذا بس اوكي سو ذس از ا بيشنت نون كيس اوف برايمري اوبن انجل جلوكوما اون تو ميديكيشنز اي بي رينجينج فروم 13 تو 16 ان ذا بيكتشر اي كان سي فوتو اوف ذا اوبتيك ديسك شوينج انكريست كاب تو ديسك ريشيو اولموست 0.8 تقريبا ذير از انفيريور Uh, uh, peripapillary flame-shaped hemorrhage. Okay. Yeah. So we had we had this in one of our quiz before. Um, might remember. Um, uh, patient uh, IUP is 13 to 16, but he has this image. What does it indicate having this hemorrhage? Usually, what does it indicate? Uh, usually, it's it can be a sign of pro progression. Yes. Uh, so you need to make sure the patient is not progressing and you see the old image, you see the fo review the file, you can see the disc here. Can you comment on these images starting from the left to the right? Yeah, so starting from the left, uh, you can see that um, the, the rim looks uh, preserved. There is a cup to disc ratio, maybe 0 0.4, 3 to 4. Yes. Uh, going to the right side, the the superior rim starts to be more thin. Yes. And the so it distribution. shows a progression, yeah, it's increasing. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, why do you think these cases can happen? Why do you think there is progression? What are the uh, reasons? So progression can occur if, uh, you know, we are not uh, at uh, the target IOP. So target IOP can be different from yes. in different patients. Why, why, why uh, if patient Pressure is 13, uh, and the cupping in the early stages here, it's not advanced. Why he needs lower target? In which cases they will need lower target like this? Usually in patients who have a normal tension glaucoma. Yes. Uh, yeah, because there are other factors contributing. What else other like. than normal tension? So you can have a progression like this with normal pressure, with, with uh, normal IP and normal tension glaucoma. And what uh, are the reasons? Uh, the reasons uh, in normal tension glaucoma, you mean? No, other other than normal tension. Other, it can yeah. be sometimes in uh, if uh, there is a low uh, uh, corneal thickness. Very good, excellent. What else? Uh, yeah, also, you know, sometimes an IOP measurement, there can be fluctuations. They are on variation. Yes. yes. Yeah. Excellent. What else? Um, compliance. Compliance. Yes. 
the patient cannot take the medication before the before the clinic and he comes to you with normal pressure when he goes back home he stop the medication uh, and the pressure goes up very good one last thing what if you have progression and you feel that you, the patient is compliant the coronary thickness is normal but uh, you don't think there's normal tension glaucoma but suddenly not not like in this case for example suddenly you saw disc pallor increased cupping what can be the cause um you know, if there is a, a disc pallor we can think of uh, like a non glaucomatous optic exactly neuropathy. yes oh. yes yes if you, everything is normal and you just see a sudden change uh, and the disc can with with pallor color vision uh, affected and then you need to make sure it's not a neurological uh, uh, causes okay very good we'll go to the next so the next the, the case is uh, the only the few cases will take them as comprehensive they are the next cases will be fast quick cases uh who, will, who wants to take this case let's see Um, who do we have here, R1? Uh, R1? Me, doctor, I can give it a try. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, this is... What do you see in the image? Yeah, yeah Sitlam 42 of the right eye, showing uh, injected cone uh, and uh, clear cornea with high femur around uh, 2 to 3 millimeter with the uh, look like a regular... Uh, uh, pupil. Uh, pupil. Is the cornea clear? The, uh, it's the inferior part. It feel, looks like a little hazy. Uh, uh, yes, uh, in the more inferior, uh, just uh, above the high yeah. field. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, let's With say the, the patient uh, presented to ER after uh, blunt trauma pain, uh, redness, decrease in vision. Uh, how would you assist this patient? Uh, first, uh, the mechanism will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the type of uh, the object that hit the eye. Yeah. Uh, then started by the VA, uh, IOB, uh, pupil, uh, both eye, yeah. uh, extraocular mortality, which is limited or not. Mm. And uh, uh, red reflex, just to have a, a quick uh, idea about the clarity of the media. Yes. Uh, then starting uh, with the SITLAM exam, uh, with the eyelid, uh, I didn't mention maybe the eyelids look swollen with the red redness. Okay. Uh, so the eyelid, if there is any laceration, uh, the conjunctiva, if it is any laceration injection, uh, cornea clear or not, uh, the ACE. Uh, uh, if there is any uh, AC reaction, high femur, uh, then the iris, if there is any laceration, uh, any trauma to the iris, uh, then I'll assist the do fund this exam, uh, vitreous, any activity in the vitreous, and uh, if the retina, if there is any injury to the retina, commercial retina, or to the optic disc. Okay. Uh, let's say this patient have high, high AOP. How would you manage him? Uh, okay, uh, at uh, acute sitting, uh, I'm gonna control the IOB by give uh, stat anti glaucoma. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, then assist after uh, the stat anti glaucoma. Um, okay. Uh, also, we need to give a uh, cycloblegic for uh, if we think about uh, traumatic iritis uh, and uh, steroid as well uh, for the. Okay, okay. Um, would you check the angle here? Arwa, for Arwa? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, I need to check for any uh, high femur blocking the iris or uh, blood cells uh, blocking uh, the iris. You will do the gonioscopy uh, directly the, in the clinic or, um, or you want um, to wait? 
I think I'll gain weight if that I would be uh, go down after the start and take glaucoma. I may طيب. wait for uh, three, four days, then assess. Uh, anyhow, I need okay. to assess the patient after three, four days for the high طيb. IUB, even if the patient presents uh, let's without see, let's see. Let's see other residents. What do they think? Uh, would you do canoscopy in this case or no? Um, I can answer it. Yeah, Muhammad. No, I to gonioscopy uh, because there is a pressure over the eye with the risk of free bleeding. So I will postpone yes. the gonioscopic examination after uh, four to six weeks. Yes, exactly. For anger recession. Yes. So if there is anger recession, there is bleeding from the anger. If you do pressurize the eye, you can patient can re bleed and you can cause more tear in the in the angle. Um, Doctor Arwa, you give the you said you give the glaucoma, you give cycloplegia, and what else? Um, if Steroid. The, uh, yes, if the IOB come down, I may give steroid. Yes, you but need to give steroid regardless. Yes. Yeah, regardless of that, yeah, and if it goes down or doesn't go down, you need to give steroid and cycloplegic to decrease the inflammation. If you don't give steroid, this blood will clot and cause fibrin and will Make your life uh, yeah, more difficult. Yes, you need to give steroid. Um, if the uh, topical drop does not work, still high. What can? What other options you can give? For uh, you mean steroid or uh, the anti glaucoma? For the anti glaucoma, pressure is still high. Um, I, I, yes, I may give uh, diamonds. Carbonic acid is uh, yes. Yes. Uh, do you know any contraindication for diamonds? Failure. Okay. Let's say the patient is young, um, is healthy renal uh, or normal uh, renal function test. Uh, what uh, could be other contraindication for that? Anybody can, yeah. Dr. Alwa? Uh, yes, um, maybe hepatic toxicity for patient with uh, hepatic No, renal, renal, only renal, but other, other things uh, other than renal failure. Um, I know it's caused uh, metallic taste for uh, toxicity, no. uh, paresthesia, hypokalemia. No. No, if you don't know, just say it. I don't, I don't. Yes. Okay. Uh, anybody know the contraindication for diamox other than renal failure? It's important here with hyphema. Yeah, and you will be asked about. Yes. Yes. Because cannot give sick a secular, secular patient carbonic and hydrase uh, inhibitor. Okay. <clears throat> if the patient uh, pressure is, is still high uh, and the high femur persists, what can you consider in this patient? And you have pressure high, you give antiglucoma, you give diamox, high femur is there. What else can you do in this patient? Um, uh, I'm not sure, sir. Okay. Can I give it? I'm not sure. Okay. Any surgical intervention you want to do? Uh, maybe BI, but no, because if you, uh, no, BI yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not. There is no people there. Block no need for BI. I'm not sure. Okay. Anybody can uh, take over. Let's see. هذه بعض الأسماء ما هي واضحة عندي رائد رائد أهلا دكتور السلام عليكم السلام ورحمة الله هذه نوع أي سرجيكال انترفينشن يو كان دو فور ذيس بيشنت؟ اكشلي نو والله دكتور نو طيب لست تيك دكتور علاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله حياك الله 
uh, the surgical indication, which is the IC washout, uh, indicated yes. the patient who has a uh, risk of uh, amblyopia in the children yes. and who has a um, uh, decrease uh, of uh, a decrease of vision um, uh, and which prevent his occupation uh, as well as in sickle cell if they have increased IUP more than 30 um, uh, milligram of mercury for uh, 24 hours yes. uh, uh, one spike or if it's more than uh, 24 uh, for uh, one day very good excellent and in a non suckler patient if we have a high IUP more than 25 for five days with uh, non-resolving uh, hyphema. If we yes. have a total hyphema with high IUP for uh, uh, six days or one week, if we Why? have Why? IUP, uh, because uh, uh, it increases Prevent. the risk um, um, yes. endothelial um, stain. Very good. Very good. Uh, and if we have a patient uh, with, the, um, uh, so it's uh, one day for second cell, two days, uh, if uh, IUP more than 60 for uh, two days, Yes. Uh, to despite prevent medical what? management, uh, to prevent optic uh, atrophy, uh, optic damage, optic nerve damage, yes. and CR, yes. CRBO or CRAO. CRAO. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. This is a perfect answer. You need to know the indication or uh, is out. If you have high FEMA case and exam, they will ask you about indication uh, to do AC washout. And as Dr. Ali mentioned uh, clearly. <coughs> Uh, thank you, Dr. Ala. Dr. Uh, Dr. Arwa. Next, will okay. This this uh, table will. Should... Can I ask a question, Dr. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, in cases of uh, traumatic hyphema with uh, let's say, uh, uh, the steroid. Uh, uh, or shall we wait till the CD heal? There is no opening globe. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, we would give anti uh, antibiotic, and we'll give the steroid in the same uh, at the same time. If there is any suspicious of uh, infection, no, and you should not, should not, should not you, should, you can wait for the for the steroid. But if uh, yeah, the cornea is clear, only CD. Yeah, I would give both, but observe the patient closely. How frequent should you give the prednisone? Um, yeah, you can give them high frequency. If, if it, there is a lot of cells, if, uh, like uh, a lot of cells in the AC, you can give them high Q3, Q2, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Uh, doctor, also I have a question. Yes. Um, for eye recession, I read that there is a risk of leukophagy. Yes. So, we have to, uh, yani, is there a point that we خلاص, DC the patient or we have to follow them annually? It's better to follow them annually, any, uh, any time, because they, they lost, when you have anger recession, they will lose some of their anger. And with time, the function uh, is decreasing with the anger normally. Uh, for example, if they have like 50% of their anger functioning, at one point of their life, this 50% will not be enough for them. Mm -hmm. So better to have, uh, to have them uh, I check their IOP. Uh, anybody? Okay. Okay. <coughs> uh, this table summarizes some of the uh, causes of uh, traumatic glaucoma. Uh, you can take picture or screenshot to review it later on. Uh, next. رائد رائد ما اخذت كيس سالناك بس ما دونت تيك كيس فروم السلام عليكم سلام طيب وات دو يو سي رائد هير؟ لو اي سي سليت لاب فورتو فور اند اي سي بليب سوبيريورلي يس وذير از بوزيتيف ليك يس يس دو يو ثينك از مايكرو ليك اور از سيجنفيكانت it's a significant leak. Yes, micro leak. Um, so, uh, right, this patient have trap, and let's say this is first day post-op, and you see the patient like this. Uh, how can you manage this patient? 
so I will start asking you if there is any history of uh, trauma, uh, rubbing yes. eye. Yes. Uh, and after that, I will check the uh, VA and IOP. Very good. Yes. Uh, so we have a sign of infection. Mm. And, uh, An examination. We should show. I will check also the AC. Yes, Very good. AC, yes. yes. What else? In the fundus, what do you want to check in the fundus? Uh, I will check if there is, is uh, a clear view. Is there any uh, uh, sign of uh, the attachment? Detachment? Or, yes, maybe. Yes. Uh, what type of detachment, you said? Choroidal detachment. Yes, yes. So um, let's say this patient have uh, now shallow AC, have choroidal detachment, and low IOP, and you can, as you can see, there's a significant leak. What is the management here? And this is the first day post surgery. What's the management? So uh, the primary management is to stop the leak. How can you stop the leak? So uh, we will uh, send the patient to the OR. Yes. So it and close it. Very good, very good. So uh, what did you say to OR directly? What makes you go for surgery? So this is a case like, and you missed as a case of open glow for me. Yes, because the leak, the leak is significant and it's early yes. post up. It's most likely it will not close by, by itself. And there's already shallow AC and there's already choroids. Um, well, do you know the indication? Uh, what is the grade of the share, AC shallowness that can and give you uh, an idea about the surgical intervention. For example, if you have any, uh, how much the AC should be shallow to go for surgery, or uh, w when it is the must to go for surgery, if you have, you have shallow uh, AC. Well, I, I am not aware, Sarah, about the yeah. stages it should be. Yeah. If you have, uh, for example, the lens is touching the cornea, with, can you wait for this patient, or what can you do? No, we'll uh, go to the OR, since now yes. let's reach into the corner. Yes, uh, so it's very shallow. Uh, yeah. uh, lens is touching the cornea, the cornea will be damaged, so we need to go rush to the OR. Also for the choroid, if you have, uh, do you know any indication to, if you have cro like mild choroid detachment, you can wait for it. But if you have severe severe coronary detachment, if you have kissing choroid, you need to go for surgery directly. Type another another scenario. If, if, uh, imagine this leak was micro, was small leak. Then the AC was deep, the pressure is low, there is no choroid detachment. What can you do? Like a small leak, uh, AC deep. How would you manage this? Uh, and, and uh, maybe we'll try. Yes, maybe we we'll try method. Uh, uh, mega contact lens to to like give pressure on the yes. clip to help it to okay. close. Yes. What else? Other things you can do. If you don't have the mega mega contact lens is not available anywhere. Everywhere. So if you don't have the lens and this is only small leak. Anybody can help us here? We can do patching. Yes, you can do patch. Also, we uh, Pressure hold. Patch. Yes, hold the steroid. Yes, decrease and or hold the steroid. And yeah, yeah. It depends on the. Yeah. And give antibiotic, preferably a gentamicin. Yes, we can change the antibiotic to gentamicin. Why? Why do we change to gentamicin? I think because it's increased the scarring. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Can you give antiglucoma? So Ali? No. Yes, Lujain. Yeah, we can give antiglucoma. 
Mm, okay. Why do we give antiglucoma? It's, um, no, it's uh, yes, right. Maybe to maybe to decrease the pressure, I to decrease the leak. Yes. So maybe if the increasing the pressure will increasing the leak and open, and make it yes. more open. Yes, yes. So to decrease the aqueous production, we'll give aqueous present. Decrease aqueous production, decrease the amount of fluid coming through the leak, and we'll uh, give it a uh, better chance to heal. But the risk here is to for the failure of the procedure. We don't prefer giving antiglucoma if you can just decrease steroid or hold it uh, with bandage contactants. Uh, these are all, all better than giving antiglucoma in these cases. Um, Arnaud, what is this photo you see here? Same patient. When, when this is the fundus. Yes, I see the. Uh, 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 the left eye from the photo with the uh, with the um, choroidal detachment. Yes. Yes. So yeah, when you have the choroidal detachment, shallow AC, and better to close the to close the leak uh, surgically. Okay. Uh, next, we can take this. We'll try to be fast now. We have many cases. We'll just have uh, a few comments on each case. I can take this, Doctor. Yeah, uh, Mohammed. Okay, what do you see in a uh, uh, described image? Okay, I, I can see a picture of the uh, left eye showing uh, a congested conch with uh, mild corneal edema with the inferior hypopion and uh, superiorly uh, what seemed to be a blip that is uh, looks white surrounded by red area and mm -hmm. coupled with us. What is your diagnosis here? What diagnosis? A uh, blip related end of the mitosis. Okay, why did you say nephromitis? Because there is congested uh, conch with the blip and hypopion on the AC. Is this uh, de de defined in nephromitis? Uh, in the presence of uh, blebitis, yes. Okay, uh, what is the grades of blebitis? Uh, uh, there is, two, uh, there is um, three grades. Uh, the first grade is blebitis. Mm -hmm. Uh, which uh, which is uh, 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 inflamed blip with a quiet AC. Uh, yes. There is hypopion and no vitritis. Mm. Uh, the uh, the grade two it's a blebitis with AC reaction but no vitritis. Okay. The grade three uh, blebitis with uh, AC reaction or hypopion plus vitritis. Okay, so when you have vitritis, you have called it endophthalmitis. This, yes, it looks like endophthalmitis, but you cannot diagnose this from this image. You need to check the fundus, check the vitreous. Uh, most likely, it is blood-related endophthalmitis, uh, but safely, you should say this is a blood-related infection. And then they can ask you. Um, the type, uh, yeah. And, and, uh, uh, so let's say this patient have uh, vitritis uh, in, the, in the examination. How would you manage this patient? Uh, well, uh, I'll admit the patient to uh, mm -hmm. uh, to tap and inject. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, do uh, <clears throat> we'll start we'll start him fortified antibiotic. What I'll prepping with with a very low threshold for uh, for parse plan of vitrectomy. Okay. Um, how about if the patient does not have vitritis, only have this hypopion, AC reaction, the vitritis is clear. Uh, how, how would you manage him? We'll stop. Okay, we'll, we'll take a uh, swab and, uh, uh, and start fortified antibiotic. Will you admit him? After, uh, and, yeah, for sure. I'll admit. Yes. With a, with a frequent follow up every 12 hours. Make it more frequent, every six hours. Every six hours? Every six hours. This can progress very fast. Related inflammatis can progress very fast. So you take the swab, you start with fortified antibiotic, and uh, you can give uh, cycloplegic uh, in these cases just to decrease the pain and uh, decrease the risk of causing the, as you can see, there is membrane over the, over the lens. And if you have uh, 
if you don't give cycloplegia, th this fibr uh, inflammation will increase and might cause uh, like pupillary block. طيب, uh, let's uh, go to the next. Let's go back. Let's see, مثلا, Aziz, the TV. Yes. Yes. Uh, what do you see here, Aziz? This is the anterior, uh, anterior photo showing a uh, elevated or raised blip uh, mm -hmm. with uh, with uh, EI and a clear cornea. Yes. Uh, How do yeah. you describe the blip? Describe it more. Uh, it is uh, elevated. Uh, yes. Vascularized. Okay. How about the wall? Do you think the wall is thick or thin? Uh, it's, uh, thin. No, do you see any structures and the lattice is clearer? No, I cannot. Yeah. Any better to assess it under slit uh, exam, but uh, here it looks anything. Thick. There is, there, it's not transparent. You don't see anything under it. So this patient has a uh, history of uh, trap uh, done two months ago or three months ago, and pressure is, is high. Uh, what what is your spot diagnosis here? Uh, maybe encapsulated blip. Yes. So you see it round like this, the wall. Vascularized, uh, most likely it's encapsulated. How would you manage this patient? So uh, I will consider uh, doing maybe a suture lysis for the patient. Okay. Or needling for the encapsulated okay. blood. Okay. Suture lysis, it will, uh, what will help in this patient if you do suture lysis? What is no, the, the resistant of, uh, what is the resistant here? Is it? At the level of the scleral flap or at the level of the conch? At the level of the conch. Yes, so the fibrosis is under and the fluid is going through the flap, no problem, but the problem because it's formed already and, and elevated. But the resistance is in the conch, there's a capsule uh, under the conch. So doing suture lysis is not uh, helpful here. You can do digital massage, as you mentioned, to try to stretch this capsule, to try to and you break it if it's early. You can give uh, medication. Did you mention any medication you can give here? Maybe mitomycin C. No, it drops. Drops. Mitomycin, yes, with with the needling. You you give it with the need when you go for surgery. But That's if it's right. early, yeah. you can give. No, it will not help. Uh, fibrosis is, is inflammation. You can give a uh, steroid. You can give steroid, the digital massage, and then assist. Most of the time, it will not يعني, work. Unless if it's very early, you catch it early, uh, then it will work. Otherwise, you need to go for needling. As you mentioned, you will give mitomycin with the needling. Uh, the aim is to break the edge of the capsule and uh, inject the mitomycin to decrease the fibrosis formation. Okay, good. Let's go for the next. Uh, who can take this? Uh, our time is until nine, so, uh, Said? Yes. Till nine. So, we have 10 minutes. Let's go. To the next, uh, Said, uh, what what do you see here? This patient post trap, phaco trap, and this image. Uh, he showed this image in the clinic. Okay, I can see a clear cornea. Mm -hmm. Fellow AC conge congested conjunctiva. Yes. And uh, it's not clear the view to the. Uh, lens or the uh, IOL. Yeah. Okay, let's say uh, this patient came after a fake trap with uh, this image and he has high IOP, 
اوكي اند ذا بيب از از لو از از نوت يعني اتس فانكشنينج بس سلو بلب اوكي وات وات از يور ديفرنشال هير ات كان بي ذا كوز كود بي اني ريسك فاكتور فور فيلير اوف بلب or the procedure itself. I need to rule out uh, plepitis, endophthalmitis, uh, fibrosis of the blip. Okay, but you can see the AC, what is striking here? The AC is very shallow. Uh, yes. Yes, and the, and the pressure is high. What are the differential here? Failure. No failure. Uh, we have shallow AC in failure. It's a recent post op, like two days or three days. Okay, could be a pupil block. Okay, this is one. If your PI is not small and it's blocked by blood or fibrin, you can have like this. What else? Uh, could be any cause that affects the. Uh iris lens diaphragm to push it anteriorly like, like yes acrosis Acros- direction yes you need to mention it always you need to mention it post op any procedure shallow ac high ip you need to mention acrosis direction let's say this is a equ- yeah, uh, yes how would you diagnose equ- equus yeah say uh upm okay what do you want to see it shows uh, anterior rotation of the ciliary process okay Let's say this is a present. How would you manage this patient? I'll start by uh, aqueous suppression, typical yes. IOB. Yes. Uh, since there is a pupil block, I need to perform uh, yak capsulotomy. Uh, and, is there a pupil uh, block? I assume there is, uh, there is a shallow AC. Yes, but the, uh, okay. And you, uh, what, what will you do? Do you yag? Yes. But the, if, if you have the patent PI, you should see the surgical PI. If you have it patent and you do your BM and you confirm diagnosis as a Christmas direction. Uh, so there is no pupillary block here. Okay. How would you manage the equus? You give the cycloplegia, you give steroid. If it doesn't work. Uh, I would proceed to anterior hyaluronic Yes. How with would you do it? Hmm? Uh, with possible uh, parasplanus vitrectomy. Yeah, before parasplanus, a patient is fakic, You have good view to the capsule and anterior hyaloid. Um, is there anything you can do in the clinic before going for surgery? Apart from the PI? Yes. I need to check uh, the fundus to rule out uh, choroidal he- detachment or supracoroidal hemorrhage. Okay, that's good this is in the beginning. But for the management of aqueous misdirection, you can do YAG, hyalidotomy. You can do the posterior capsulotomy and hit the hit the anterior hyaloid with the YAG to disrupt okay. anterior hyaloid phase. If it doesn't work, you go for PBV. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do in PBV exactly? Just regular uh, normal PBV core vitrectomy or there is something special you want to do? Or do you want to ask the retinal specialist to do? Uh, I would uh, ask our retinal colleagues to remove the uh, anterior face uh, of the hyaloid. Okay. So uh, doesn't keep pushing the uh, the ciliary process toward the lens. Yes. What else? I'm not sure. I'm not aware of the other considerations. Okay. Anybody can uh, answer? Maybe Mohammed. Any... Yeah. Yes. I mean, Dujain. Yes. Totally. Uh, yeah. An anterior hyaloidal zonulectomy. Yes. Uh, uh, I read hyaloidal uh, or I read the hyaluronic ICH. Okay, you cut the iris, you cut the zonules, and you cut the anterior hyaloid. You make you make connection between the AC and the posterior chamber. 
Okay, uh, very good. Let's go for the next. These uh, also uh, the post-trap complications can have interop early and late. Please take photo and review them. Uh, it's very important to have. You can see in high and low IOP in the early early part. These these differentials is very important. A lot of residents get confused about them, but it's not difficult. It's easy. Just think about it logically, because when you have. Uh, yeah, and it's a common question also on exam. You just see the, this, uh, you can uh, yeah, and you choose a diagnosis depending on the IOP and the AC depth. Okay. Um, let's see who's next, Lujane. Yes, doctor. Uh, what do you see here in these images? Uh, this is gonioscopic picture showing uh, some lazy line. Yes. What else? How is the trabecular mesh work? It's a homogenous, uh, homo homogenous. That is homogenous pigmentation. Okay. Okay. So these both images are showing uh, pigmentation in the angle, some lazy line. Is there any difference but, between these, these two? Uh, yeah. Um, image. Uh, uh, this is a dynamic uh, gonioscopy because. Uh, no, it's different patients. No, no, don't do the mesh. But I mean the angle. I mean the angle. Is there any difference in these patients? Both, both of them have... The mutation, one the patchy, one the homogenous. Yes, yes. Which one is the patchy one? Patchy is on the right. And the oh, excellent. Very good, very good. Uh, do you know what can cause this on the right and what can cause this on the left? Yes, homogenous pigmentation comes with pigment dispersion syndrome. Yes. And Batch pigmentation comes with suit exfoliation. Very good, excellent, mashallah. You get it from the first image. Uh, as you can see here on the right, also what do you can, see on the right? Uh, uh, on the right side, we can see a uh, mid peripheral iris translation uh, defect, which comes with B B BDS. And uh, on the left, we can see peripapillary iris uh, translation defect, which yes. comes with a suit exfoliation. Okay, I think you mix the right and the left here. The left one, yes, as you mentioned, mid. Right, right of the image, yani. Yes, okay, okay. Type. Uh, here, what do you see? Um, Zentamaya ring. Okay. Uh, which is pigmentation on the equator of the anterior lens capsule. Where? Which one? Um, and right uh, in the upper right image. Hadi, it's been the marker I give you. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. So on, on the left, uh, on the left hand, okay. Yeah. On the right hand, we can see a target signs with the, which comes with the, the pseudo exfoliation. Okay. And also we can see it uh, in the, in the peripillary area. Mm-hmm. And the picture on the right is on the right is on the right is on the spindle, which is uh, pigmentation in the corneal endothelium. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, let's see. Now no, it's nine. Let's have spot diagnosis here. Um, Khan, Dr. Khan is around. Dr. Rahman? Yes. What do you think here? Yeah. yeah it looks like a you know, primary uh, congenital glaucoma. Okay. Uh, well, how do you manage the congenital glaucoma? Uh, usually, any you know, we'll start with the history. Uh, and you know, we will ask about the, you know, when did the how how old mm -hmm. is the patient first of all, and okay. when did the no parents notice uh, this? Is there any family history of the same okay. Okay. problem? Consequently, okay. for uh, uh, examination, any specific exams you want to do? Yeah, the examination, uh, usually, uh, you know, if we cannot do it in the clinic, we can do it under sedation. Uh, we will look for corneal, we will measure corneal diameter. Yes. Uh, we will measure the IOP. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll examine the cornea for any uh, decimate folds. Uh, okay. Can you have some uh, What else? And, uh, we will uh, uh, do pachymetry for corneal thickness. Very good. Okay, we'll one more test. Axial length. Uh, very good. Very good. Back. And also the fundus. Uh, how, yes. How is it? How is the, the treatment here? The management. What would you do? The management usually they need surgical. 
treatment for yes dental. yes yes what kind of surgery uh, يعني, it depends on the Yes. You, you, you can do goniotomy uh, mm. if there's poor view uh, but in our population usually you know, we, we, we go straight forward for yes. you know, like deep sclerectomy very so. good very good excellent um, yeah. I think that that's it we need to stop here just something to keep uh, also advise you to do you see these uh, tables in the American Academy for the Anti-Glucoma. They have all that contraindication. You have the percentage of IP reduction. Um, yeah, and you better to review them. And you might be asked about the contraindication of Anti-Glucoma. Just uh, can review it from the American Academy. Okay. Uh, any questions? Anybody have any question before? Thank you so much, Doctor. الله يعافيكم يعطيكم العافية. طيب دكتور مالك هي لفت اوريدي خلاص يلا ثانك يو فيري ماتش يلا جود لك